the other day my V cubes arrived. Just look at that. This means my collection of cubes is finally complete. Well, almost complete, anyway. If you're wondering why the V-cube 7 has such chunky curves, the reason's very simple. Imagine an n by n by n cube. And now imagine what happens when we turn one of the faces 45 degrees. Then, this distance here is n over the square root of 2, and this is n over 2. So the difference between these two distances comes out to n over 2 minus n over root 2 minus n over 2. And that has to be less than the square root of 2, for reasons I'll explain later. This gives this simple formula, which we can simplify like this. n times 1 over root 2 minus a half is less than the square root of 2. When you simplify that, then you get this equation here n is less than 4 plus 2 root 2, which is about 6.8. So n has to be less than or equal to 6. Or, when you turn the thing by 45 degrees, this little corner piece will just pop out. You can see the v cubed 6 has this corner piece just slotting in there so, this, so it can connect to the rest of the cube. If they built the v cubed 7 with flat faces, this corner piece would just disappear. One of the best things about the V-cube is all the amazing patterns you can make. There's just no limit. It's amazing. Look at that. Noughts and crosses, anyone?